Well, while many traditional Georgia dairies have either gone out of business or they're just maintaining their milk output, others are specializing in further processing. Rick Trepto reports on one dairy that has increased its size thanks to some equipment that just goes around and around and around. This is part of the 2,000 acres of the Williams Dairy Farm near Madison, a common site off busy Highway 83. If you've never been to Winnieside's Dairy, this is a good example. It has three large freestall barns, but there's been a major renovation. The dairy is now home to Georgia's latest carousel or rotary milking parlor. Well, we had outgrown our old facility and we were milking about 300 cows at a lease facility and we needed a new parlor that didn't milk more cows. And we looked at hair and bones and parallels and rotaries and we'd seen enough rotaries that cows really like to be milked on them. And we just thought that was a key factor. And in fact, it's real efficient that the cow comes to the man milking. The old facility was overworking the staff and was too expensive to run. But they were working a lot of extra hours, paying extra overtime, and now they don't quite work eight hour shift. The daily milking herd has been increased. The single location milks 1,300 cows in about six hours. The heifers learn to get on in a day. Now they go at their own pace. The milking lasts for about 11 minutes. Everett helped out in the second position, but the process is about the same he's done for 50 years. Well, we're attaching each tit cup, try to keep it clean, where each teat has been disinfected with, with a chlorine-based chemical. This is still a family chlorine. farm. The dairy revolves around the family. We have two sons that have gone to the University of Georgia, graduated and come back home. And they both think they're going to make a career out of dairy and both been here several years. And it will allow us to grow for the foreseeable future to, to provide income for three to four families. Two major points about this carousel dairy you can't miss. One is that the milking parlor itself is very, very quiet. The other is they take no shortcuts in recycling and managing their water. Dairies use a tremendous amount of water. The Williams have always been good stewards of what they use. The carousel barn included a new water system that is also state of the art. After it helps cool the milk, then we uh, water the cows with it and also wash up the floor. And then eventually this water finds its way to the waste storage uh, lagoon. And then from that lagoon, it's actually pumped out on the field to irrigate the crop. And along with that water, it carries nutrients from the cows that help fertilize the crop. The fast process of cooling the milk to 45 degrees is done before it is pumped into the waiting trucks that go to Southeast Dairy Incorporated, a dairy co-op. And most of my milk goes to public. And it's processed at the public plant in the Cougar and goes in the public stores all through the southeast. The dairy parlor can milk a shift of as many as 2,000. But don't forget the farm is not about the shiny high-tech equipment. The dairy cows are their most important input. For everything to work, there simply has to be a routine. The animals have to be comfortable, or like any worker, production falls. When you feed her the same ration every day, she's in and out of the sun, she's out of the rain, she's out of that cold rain that really knocks them. Everett is also the Georgia Milk Producers Incorporated president. He believes in promoting milk to the point a room has been built next to the milking parlor for visitors of all ages to learn about a real, modern dairy and the industry. In Morgan County, I'm Rick Trepto for the Georgia Farm Monitor.